So this morning I woke up here in this feudal mansion from the um, from seven, from 1500 and something. Um, my lady from the uh, my lady from the um, from the little castle here. She took me hitchhiking and uh, amazing, eh? Well, I slept like a prince, eh? So you know. Um, so this is very old. It's incredible. So, how, how did I get here, eh? So, yeah, look at that. All old stuff, eh? And uh, so, what I wanted to show you, you know, first of all, look at the coat of arms here. You see the red colors of the red house and the white house of Pharaoh. The red house, the original Pharaohs, it's the, uh, the, uh, the base of it, you know, the... Um, um, so, that means that's where they all come from. And you see the Trinity. The crescent moon, that means we work in the in darkness, you know, we hide, yeah, like the hidden hand of Freemasonry, which all comes from there. And it's a grain, you know, it all, you know, it means um, our grains are here, our descendants are here. In Isis, Horus and Seth, the Trinity. And it says here, this it says on the wall in seventy seventy nine, and it says this here. Sois béni, cette pierre a été posée par Messire Alexandre de Enzel Chevalier, 1773, 1773, so just before the American Revolution. <sighs> and, um, and the French Revolution was in 1789. And so, you know, Chevalier, it means he's a, a knight, yeah, a knight. And probably a Templar too, because, here's the word sire which comes from Sar, like in the sarcophages, or Caesar, in the demotic pharaonic language, meaning the king. A sire is a king. And, um, uh, what I wanted to tell you, um, oh dear, no, I forgot. Eh? Well, anyway, this is the mansion, and this is what I wanted to show you. This is very old, in the middle of the forest, in nowhere, and in those days, you know, forests were really jungles, eh? And it's an oak forest. And this thing here is two and a half thousand, it's been dated at two and a half thousand years. Hey? Eh? So there's so much water here, you know, so many rivers and springs here. It's in the mountains of the Vogesians, Le Vosges, uh, in a place called um, Tolois, Le Tolois. And it says the thousand lakes. A lot of lakes here. So you don't do this for the water. This is a blood sacrifice, probably by the Druids. And there are Druid lodges, you know, so that means the Druids, they were no Celts. No. They led to the destruction of the Celts because they all believed them. You know, they make them believe with some miracles and then they all believe them. Let's, now it's a good time to wage a war, go here, and the Romans were there, you know. They were pharaohs, like the black magic in Africa, the voodoo, it's all from Pharaoh, eh? So, I'm going to show you this, I haven't seen it yet. In the middle of the forest, two and a half thousand years old for a blood sacrifice. Creepy stuff, eh? Now look at the old staircase, it's all worn out, eh? It's difficult to walk on it, eh? Especially with my backpack and all that. Yeah. So, I don't know where she is, my lady. She, she left me all alone here in the kitchen. Baked a fantastic bread here with some coffee in the aluminium, good for me Alzheimer. And, uh, and then I saw this here. Look at that. Fleur de Lis. And you see, it's the Trinity, eh? For eyes, horrors, and set. This is a symbol of the aristocracy. But you can see a square over there. You can see the square here, which is the concept of four. And there are two triangles, which is the concept of three. It's all Freemasonry. This means the Freemasons, they come out of the pharaohs and pharaohs aristocracy, which I've been telling you all the time. It's all the same. This has been taken off, you know, uh, because of the French Revolution, where they 
so you know where they were hunting all the the firstborn sons because of the new system oh nice plant here let me lift the door and this is where it says here from 1775 uh, oh, i can't see anything in the lcd the text i just read to you so i'm going to this blood sacrifice thing and this is source source du madon the well of uh, Madon. On is Osiris, like tout en am on. Me, ma, me, mer or meru. It's a word for the pyramid in Demotic. And the D is the. Me, don. Also Madonna, you know. It's all pharaonic. And we are the slaves. So, me, the, on. The is to come to the, to come to. To arrive so Osiris arrives in the pyramid that's what it means so I, I already found this in in like in I think in the Baphomet that, that's the soul arriving in the pyramid oh there it is look it's, it's in the middle of a forest a real vast forest you can walk it for hours and get lost you know so, watch my film Octagon the Empire of Darkness, because this thing here is octagonal. Why do I put this in the middle of a forest? It was probably upright, but it's been sliding away with the water and all that. And there's so much water around, you know, a basin like this here, you know, a bath, a bathtub. I mean... It's not for the water. Water is abundant here. There's so many sources, rivers. It's a mountainous area here. So it's not for water. This is for blood. Just like Erzbet de Bathory, you know, the, the Dutchess who was bathing in the blood of virgins. It's all pharaonic. And here you've got a little deeper part here. I don't know if that's original, but anyway, you can sit down here, you know, or whatever. So all the blood that comes into this little part here. And um, octagonal, you see? <laughs> it really is. And um, why make it? I mean, it's a lot of work, eh? And it's real octagonal. I mean, it's real exactly made. And who are the builders? I mean, the pharaohs are the builders anyway. They call it the cuvo de fées. The elves, you know, the fairies. Cuvo is like a, a basin, you know. But of course, the fairies have nothing to do with this. It's, it's more likely, you know, the other way around. It's just evil. It's satanic. And they, I tell you, man, they still come here. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. It's still the same, you know. They, um, they mobilize demonic energies here. Children who disappear and all this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are being... Uh, ruled by, a, by a, an evil force, the pharaohs. An octagon, octagonal, well, I mean, it, it leads to the Knights Templars, but this was there before. So that means, uh, as these Knight Templars, you know, the Templars have been existing, I mean, far much longer, because the New World Order, it's, it's at least 6,000 years old. I mean, the idea of it, it finally got executed in Switzerland in uh, 1291, but it's, it's from pharaonic times. That's why we have the Red House and the White House. And the White House is the New World Order in the south of Egypt, like Akhenaten. And the, uh, the Old World Order are the original pharaohs in the north where the pyramids are. It's, it's, it's way older than just, you know, New World Order. People think it, it, it hasn't even been realized yet. Well, not to the full extent yet, but it, it is there. Octagonal, right in the middle of a bloody forest. I mean, this is old. It's been dated at 2,500 years. And I tell you again, the Druids, you know, first, that's what they always do. You know, the first battle is in the mind. So the, the pharaohs, the first send their aristocracy, first their, no, first their religious and, and the wizards, you know, so people believe in it. And then they tell them, to the, like to the Celts, well, the Romans are around the corner, you know, like over there, you know. So they all run over there. 
and then they, 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 they run into a trap or the other way around they say well they're not there, they're over there and they all run into the trap and they all get killed that's why the Celts lost all the battles because they believe these creeps don't believe all these wizards don't do that why is there an echo? are there some more caves or whatever? you hear the echo? it's not forest echo, that's not forest there's some more here oh yeah and uh, well there is uppies you know like the advanced personal information system the bull and the bull is the uh, well I'm, I'm tell you later if I find it and um, that's why we lose you know but because we believe these wizards don't believe them even if they show us tricks because it's all demonized satanic and don't believe that Switzerland is a neutral clean place that's the base of it all it's full of demons and I know it and um, so that's why the Celts they lost and I tell you again the white race is the most terrorist, ter terrorized race on the planet this is two thousand or two and a half thousand years ago and people were massacred, genocided by the Romans, horrible crimes I mean the black people in Africa or the Muslims they never ever have uh, lived through all these horrible things as the white people have done that's why they don't have any more roots at all they have no more tradition nothing they have to take over other traditions from other cultures like the Hare Krishna and the Hare Krishna temple or all of a sudden they become like converted to uh, Islam and they all they change their name into Muhammad or whatever because the white man has no more roots he's the most killed destroyed being on the entire planet not even the American Indians they still have their roots and the white people taking the killing the Indians they were mostly Swiss like Costa he was Swiss they are pharaohs who took the black slaves all the, the slavery ships they belong to the Swiss and that's because of the Knights Templars who had an enormous fleet that went part of it to Scotland and part most of it to Portugal but most of the soldiers, tens of thousands, they went to Switzerland, the, uh, the Knights Templars, with their treasure. Can you imagine? Octagonal, in the middle of a bloody forest. I mean, I don't want to sleep here. I've been sleeping at places where there have been demons. And I tell you, it's not fun. You have to run away. Because at the moment, between you're still awake and when you fall asleep, and, you know, sleep is catching up on you, there's something crawling into you. And I got protected every time I woke up with a shock. I still want to film that place for you, which is actually in the same area as this one here. It's, a, it's an old temple on 1,000 meters on the top of the mountain where the Romans, they did uh, uh, human sacrifices. Why did the Romans do it? Because the, the, the headset, they're all pharaohs, like Caesar, like in a, a Caesar, it means the king. They're all pharaohs. Roman was being, had been taken over by the pharaohs, the, the ancient Greek, you know, civilization was all pharaonic they ruled the whole world an octagonal no. oh man this is horrible and demons are here oh believe me oh they are here go and go and put your tent in so oh, i'm not going to do it uh, i've i've experienced these sort of things i don't want to experience that again um a bathtub you know like a prehistoric bathtub in the middle of nowhere get out of here there's no, there's no physical use for it other, other than demonic and satanic. What's the physical use for it? There's no, nobody's living here. And if, if you want to live there, the last thing you do is make a bathtub. In the pre prehistoric times, well, who had a bathtub anyway? Hmm. Pharaohs. Well, fill it in yourself. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is the area where Joan of, Ar of Orléans, Joan of Orleans, where she grew up. And she didn't even know that her first general, Gilles de Ré, a Marquise, he was a serial killer. He, uh, uh, I mean, it, it has been um, recorded that um, he murdered and tortured to death and sodomized 200 kids, masculine kids, and probably into the thousand. But 200 that they have been recorded, yeah. So if she had a red line to the God and all that, and if she would be a real saint, 
the good God would say, Joan, listen, there's something wrong with your own general. The enemy is not the other party or the English people, no. It's your own general. But that did never happen. She is not a saint. And the French, do you know, they all run after a skirt, you know, so they run after a woman. You know, they've got us analyzed. It's the only way you can get a Frenchman into battle, you know, follow, follow, follow the girlies, yeah? Joan of Arc. Well, Arc, my, or oh, whatever. Hmm. I mean, who's doing these sacrifices? Who always did it? The pharaohs, yeah? And the aristocracy. Marquis Gilles de Ré and his gang, you know? And now the Freemasons do it. Our leaders, the politicians, they do it. That's disgusting. I mean, isn't that proof enough for you guys and girls? Well, stand up before it's too late. So this area, Le Vosges, it has 87% forest. And then there's maybe another 10% is green, meadows and all that. It's vast, I tell you, and it's big. You can't see the end of it, even you walk for days, yeah? And, uh, well, who has been, always been doing sacrifices? You know, the earliest in history. The Celts? Nah. It was only the Druids. They were pharaonic. It's all from Pharaoh. And the Pharaohs have been, you know, uh, sacrificing everything, you know? Cats and dogs and, and serpents and, and bulls and whatever, humans, everything. And it goes on. Their descendants are the aristocracy and the Freemasons. And they come here, I tell you, they come here. It might be the Lord from that castle where I slept. Um, I'm thankful he wasn't there, actually. Uh, yeah, well. You know, it's like a Knight Templar's Yakuza here, or maybe prehistoric. Uh, my guess is nice Templars. Anyway, it's pharaonic. You know. Why build a jacuzzi in the middle of nowhere? Eh? It really is in the middle of nowhere. You have to, certainly in the Middle Ages or, you know, like 2,000 years ago. You, know, you have to walk for weeks, you know, to get somewhere. You have to walk for weeks to get the beer to go with the jacuzzi bath, eh? <laughs> Why do it, eh? I mean, there's even a Swiss cross next to it, and I think this is original. I mean, look at it, how it's, it's bending in here. You wouldn't do this, you know, if you're like a 20, 20th century graffiti artist. You'd just make it straight. This is Templar stuff, eh? It's a reference to it. Templars, Octagon, Switzerland, eh? Hey, jacuzzis. You know, this is what they do, like in the Dutru Castle, the castle of the Mother of Darkness. But not only there, they're all over the place, you know. Now look, there's an old picture where it hasn't slid away yet. See? So here it is, this one here. Cuvée de Fée. And this is Le Tolois, where the castle is, where I slept. This is a book. They have the book, so I'm going to read in it. Ah. Hmm. Oh, so there's animals. Hello. Hmm. The other thing I can't find it. Something with the uh, the bull. Where where is it? Uh, it's it's so fast, you know. So on that side was the uh, the blood sacrifice thing. Yeah. And on the other side, it's all forest. You know, to have an idea how vast it is here. You know. I mean, France is. 24% is forest and then there's a lot you know a lot more that's green which is not forest but it's green it's also green maybe 50 I don't know 60% is forest they all live in Paris in Lyon in Marseille so I don't know how to find that thing eh? it's like bloody Canada here so you can see some pictures you know this is one is from 72 I think uh, where it hasn't been that eroded yet. This picture here is from 1980 or 94. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. This is older, I think, here. So it was flat, you know, and uh, so from this book here, it's very old.
and I call the hill and the forest where it's in the forest of the Druids in the hill of the Druids bloody pharaohs yeah there's a cave with a door at the end mm. Here's some sort of a chapel, but this is new. There must have been something else. So I'll be... yeah. On this thing it says Bois du Roi. Let's see. Bois du Roi. The f the, uh, it's in old French with a Y. The, uh, the forest of the king. The king's forest. Right. And it still belongs all to us, to them. Everything. You see, Le Bois du Roi, the forest of the king, is red and white. Uh, white a little bit more because that's what we're living now, the New World Order, and red a little bit less. All forest. And it all belongs to them. You see, there's a wall leading to that thing there, you know. It's not a wall. If you go, if you go down here, turn right here, uh, get to the uh, to the blood sacrifice bowl. Hmm. So there it is, in the middle of the forest, and it's called Fontaine Le Boeuf, the bull's source, and it's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, nobody, no villagers. Nobody would ever use it and they made a wall here. Look at that. a road here. Why, why do it if nobody's living here? I mean You can see you can see it's a bull Yeah you See the horns It's got some ears on it. Yeah, the ears you see It's a bull normally there's more water coming out, but it's there's a draft yeah, you got this pharaonic, uh, like the Pope is having, you know. And a cross, and here's another bull. And ovals. And these sort, of, these weird things here. Maybe it's also sort of a hat, whatever. Here's a place to put a uh, something, they, uh, probably a bull's hat in it, yeah. And they come here, look at the whole thing, looks like a pyramid. And in the demotic language, Apis is the bull. They, they honored the bull, which is the symbol of the, uh, the protection of the motherland. That's why the Americans, you know, uh, the Patriots Act, they, um, uh, or the American authorities, I shouldn't say the Americans, it's because it's against the people, the people don't like that. And uh, the, the Swissy did this. Uh, it's called the uh, Advanced Personal Information System. So anybody who wants to go to the United States has to fill in a triple form, really big. Well, how many times a day you shit, uh, whatever you do, what are your hobbies, how many times a week you, you, you do it with your wife, everything is in it. You know, are you on YouTube? Are you politically? They want to know everything. And uh, so that's Uppies. And they, they, I, I made a film on it, uh, about that, on my channel, um, Chatsifras, I think. Look, uh, so much work. In the old days, and this is 2,500 years old. In the old days, people didn't have some... It must have been very important to them, you know, I mean... People didn't have in those days, and this is 2,500 years old as well. It's been dated by things they found here, you know. Of course the stone, you can't date the stone. Uh, but by the tools and things they found here, you know, the artifacts. And uh, this is what they do, you know. Uh, I mean, people were, they were barely surviving. It was a struggle for life every day, especially in the winter. They absolutely did have no time for it. There were, so there were others for whom it was very important. So when these pharaohs came, they built castles, raped the women, made the, uh, the elite, you know, by the descendants, mixing with us through the, uh, the Jus Prime Noctis, 
and in the forest like here and it's still nobody here uh, you can imagine in the Middle Ages and uh, two and a half thousand years ago there was absolutely nobody here uh, were wolves and bears and you know so hidden they could do their evil practices you know to to mobilize demons and and this thing here there the, this ancient Uppis ritual of the pharaohs uh, and the 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 Patriot Act is also an Appis uh, ritual, yeah. And uh, so um, they they could mobilize demons and all that, you know, um, who help. And I tell you, demons exist. I've been sleeping at places where there were demons, and it's not fun. You you can't sleep there. I had to walk through the forest in the middle of the night. It was snowing. In those days, there weren't any uh, any LED lamps. Uh, my lamp. Uh, Half an hour, no more batteries. I had to walk in the in the dark in the snow, uh, and I could feel these demons going and coming after me until I came to a place where there was light. I I I, I should still film that for you. I, I will do it one of these days. Uh, demons exist. They can be attached to persons. They can also be attached to a place like this one here. I wouldn't like to sleep in the night because I already went through that, and I don't want to do that again. So. Pharaoh Pyramid, me, and this um, this this thing here, you know, the where they did the the blood sacrifice, that that bath there, the bath, the octagonal bathtub, prehistoric octagonal bathtub, it's just 50 minutes away on foot, yeah. It's, it's all connected. The, the entire hill, it's on a plateau here, in Levoge. And uh, they call it like the mountain or the um, um, the forest of the Druids. It's called uh, Le Vallon de Saint Martin. Hey, pharaohs building your pyramids in the middle of our forest. Oh, I see what it looks like. You know, these things are like you know to make a toilet flush. You know, with a rubber thing here. And you go, you know, put it on there, and you pull it. You know, two of them. Well, well, why all these things on it? You know, it looks like some alien technology, eh? Look at that. What is it? Weird. Ancient technologies. And you know, the pharaohs do this too, you know, all the, uh, the Knights Templars and the pharaohs, they are pharaohs, um, to hide things. Like behind it, but it, it has all been excavated in the 50s, I think, or... And uh, so it's easily to find, just like the octagon bath, you know. Uh, might very well be Templar stuff. It's octagonal, and you can always find it back and you know, get the treasure, yeah. I um, mean, these things, they um, hardly disappear, you know. They're still there after so many years, and then 100 years later you come and pick it up again, when the New World Order, like it's been... Like it's been settled, eh? It's, I mean, watch the film, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, yeah? Oh, here you can see the eyes of the bull, yeah. I mean, if they are like two poles, you know, like to capture electricity, this thing here, and the bathtub, it's on a plateau, you know, where if there is lightning, it crashes down here. Um, the plus and the minus poles of uh, ele electric electrical uh, system. It's really weird. Well, the capstone is missing, <laughs> and guess what? You know, we all know what was in it, eh? Uh, the all-seeing eye, the good old all-seeing eye of Horus. Now, why make it like a pyramid, you know? It's a reference to where they come from, of course. I mean, the Middle Ages, you would just put a heap of stones here, you know? Who cares, you know? The only thing that matters is the water pouring out. Eh? Bloody pharaohs.